We're back. We're doing it. It's Pretty Little Liars, the abridged episode. And today I think it's episode five. Last time, um, we turned Lydia into a bad girl. She broke Blair's heart and she gave the photos of Emily kissing Maya to A. Um, and, ow, oh, and, yeah, when we last left off, Lydia was listening in, in on the conversation between Aria and Ezra, which, to be honest, we don't support them, so if A wants us to ruin their relationship, we'll gladly do it. Episode 5. You and Arya team up for a night of espionage that ends in a surprise reunion with Ali's most notorious enemy. Come on, Arya. Hurry up. I know we decided not to talk at school, but I didn't know who else to turn to. Are you kidding? I'm happy you came to me. I'm always here for you, Arya. The keys, Arya, the keys! Oh, my keys! If it's... It's my parents. Ezra, they're splitting up. Oh no, is that true? Oh, Arya, I'm so sorry. Not really. What happened? I know you were hoping they'd work things out. I really thought they would. But I guess my mom isn't ready to forgive my dad after all. She's moving out tomorrow to some apartment downtown. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess right now. I mean, I'm not really sorry because that's what you get when your daddy got a high schooler. You have nothing to apologize for. Come here, let me hold you. Yeah, that's the, that's the face I met Lydia too. <laughs> you look really beautiful today. Shush. Lydia is right outside. Uh, okay, Arya, don't get distracted. Well, you know what's quieter than talking? Ew! Reading, writing, an English paper, anything but kissing. <laughs> OMG. Seriously, the first chance we get, we're handing him over to the police. Time's up! Oh, hello there, Lydia! Principal Hackett! Um, since when is Principal Hackett bald? <laughs> A little jumpy today, are we? Jumpy? Me? No. I'm just waiting to meet with Mr. Fitz. Oh good, Mr. Fitz is still here. I just got an urgent message saying he needed to see me. Hey. <laughs> I can't let him in there. Warn Aria or stall. Um, yeah, we're gonna warn Arya. We should have warned Arya a long time ago. Principal Hackett! <laughs> it's actually so weird that I ran into you, Principal Hackett. Ezra, can I look in your desk? I really need a tampon. I mean a pen. Can't this wait, Lydia? I need to talk to Mr. Fitz now. No! <laughs> what 
Arya Hackett is outside. You need a pen now? Yes, it's urgent. I really need to warn you. The new trophy case is cracked. What? Really? <laughs> I don't see... Principal Hackett! Oh, hello, Miss Montgomery. Ezra, there you are. Hi, Principal Hackett. Oh, hi, Arya. I didn't see you there. Well, isn't this a nice scene? Two of Rosewood's most hard-working students with one of our most beloved teachers. <laughs> I'd like to get a photo of the f <laughs> Sorry, what? I'd like to get a photo of this for the yearbook. I'd like to get a photo of this for Judge Judy. And submit it as evidence A. Okay, everyone. Get together and say, Go Sharks! Go Sharks! That one was definitely a keeper. Thanks, everyone. Great. Bye, Principal Hackett. Oh my god, that was close. Quick thinking, Lydia. Thanks for having my back. Of course. I got the key. I got the secret. You okay, Arya? I just hate betraying him. But time to focus. Ready to do this tonight? Ready. Hmm. Hey, Arya. Yeah? Ask about her parents or let it go? Um. Well, I mean, she knows we were listening, so I feel like we want to, like, be there to support Arya, because she's obviously being manipulated by Ezra, so we want to present ourselves as a non-manipulative person, somebody who Arya can rely on, so ask about her parents. Is everything okay with your parents? You heard that, huh? It is what it is. I'm here if you ever want to talk. Thanks, Lydia. Right now, I just want to get Mona's file and find A. Let's do it. How are we supposed to get by them? Dodging Principal Hackett was not part of the plan. Ladies, what are you doing on school property after hours? There's a murder investigation going on. Great, now he's spotted us. What do we do? Wait, Arya, cheerleading tryouts are tonight. We should pretend we're trying out for the team. Yes, you're brilliant! Listen, ladies, if you don't leave now, I'll be forced to call your parents. Principal Hackett! We were just... Grab yourself a cheerleading outfit and get Mona's file. I, I, I see what they're trying to do here. The choice, the premium choice is grab yourself a cheerleading outfit. 
So basically they want you to pay gems for an outfit. We're not here to play for outfits, we're here to play for story. So I feel like every eventuality will lead to Mona's final. So I'm just gonna run past Hackett. Even though he'll call my dad, this just a consequence we'll have to suffer with. Arya, let's run! I'm calling your father. We are so screwed. How long do you think you have until your dad gets here? No clue. Okay, here goes nothing. There's the file cabinet. Can you watch the door again? I'm an expert now. Whoa, this file is huge. Mona saw Lindell for almost a year. It'll take forever to look through all these notes. <gasps> Hurry up, I hear something. What if it's my dad? Wait, here's a note from the day Mona died. Mona has finally come forward with information about Allison De Laurentiis. <gasps> oh my god, Mona knew what happened to Allie? It's not what it says. Listen to this. Mona claims that on the night Allison disappeared, she saw a former Rosewood student fleeing Spencer Hastings' barn. OMG, what? Who? This has to be A. You know, back then when we weren't even getting text messages. Oh my god, Jenna Marshall. She's coming back to Rosewood High. Who's Jenna Marshall? <laughs> Jenna despised Allie. I mean, she hated her. And all because Allie just blinded her. I mean, come on, forgive and forget. We always thought Allie had something on her. Something that kept Jenna from hurting her. Wait, right here. There's a whole report on it. Let me just... <gasps> Aria, that must be my dad! Quick, put the file away. <gasps> Lydia! <gasps> Lydia? Mr. Fitz? Aria? Ezra, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Wait, you, you stole my key. Ezra, I... I can't explain. Explain what? Why you lied to me? I... Uh... Can you step aside, Aria? I have to get the file from the cabinet. You really aren't going to tell me what's going on. I... I can't, I'm sorry. Right. Okay then. I'll just continue to emotionally manipulate you. Ezra, please, if you just listen. I am listening, Arya, but you won't say anything. Mr. Fitz, this was all my fault, or please don't tell anyone. Um, 
Please don't tell anyone. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is definitely not all my fault. I feel no fault in this whatsoever. In your little Lolita drama. Please don't tell anyone. I'll see you in class, Lydia. Arya, I'm so sorry. I've never seen him so mad. He'll forgive you. Just give him some time to come co cool off. Yeah, but we can't think about that right now. Lydia, Ezra took the file. This is bad. Jenna Marshall, she's extremely dangerous. Blind, but extremely dangerous. We need to know what Allie had on her. If we don't get another look at that file, we're in trouble. But Mr. Fitz, he won't talk to me, but he'll talk to you because he likes blondes. He told me when we were making out. <laughs> Please go get Mona's file back. We get the file back, find out what Ali had on Jenna, or don't find out what Ali had on Jenna. Um, okay, so we knew Jenna, no, we don't know Jenna, ow. We knew Ali for five hours and then she disappeared. Um, I just don't understand why we can't just walk up to Jenna and ask. Uh, you know, what was the beef between you and Ali? Why, why, why do we have to go snooping around official reports that are kept under lock and key? Yeah? And I'm not just saying this, like, because the premium choice would have to cost money. I am literally just like, why are we putting our ass on the line, okay? So we're gonna do the opposite. We're not gonna find out what Ali had on Jenna. Arya, I, I don't think I should. He's my teacher. Yes, he's your teacher. Fine, but this could have been big. I'm really sorry. Hey, don't tell the girls about Ezra, okay? They all told me it was a bad idea to see him. I won't. I'll tell the police instead. Thanks. We should head to the grill. <gasps> what? It's my dad. I'm in huge trouble. We're talking in the morning. In the morning? If you were in huge trouble, you wouldn't be hanging out at the grill. I'm so sorry, Lydia. So, what did you find? Mona was there the night Allie disappeared. She saw someone running from Spencer's yard. Oh my god, who? Jenna Marshall. No. Yes, but that's not even the scariest part. Jenna's back. She's starting at Rosewood High on Monday. Oh my god. Careful, little liars. You saw what happened to Mona when she dug too deep. You don't think this is from Jenna? <laughs> Tell me this isn't happening. Who's that? That 
is Jenna Marshall. The girl we're all deathly afraid of. Great, so... Have, did anything happen? Do you think anything worthwhile happened in that episode? I think, I feel like we stopped Arya and Ezra from kissing. Yes, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Okay. So in the next episode, Jenna's back in Rosewood. And she knows your secret. Hmm. This blind bombshell has a mission for you. Will you play her game? <laughs> 